Alright guys, so today we're going to be trying to repair this broken window with the Rain-X windshield repair kit. This is a double paned gelled wind window. It's pretty much brand new. I installed it a little over a month ago and um, mysteriously it has this crack in it running from up here near the corner down to about the middle of the pane. It stops about right there. So it's this big S-shaped crack and I have absolutely no idea what happened to this window. Um, I didn't lean anything up against it, it just happened. So anyway, um, I already read the instructions. I'm going to uh, apply this to the crack and try to you know, squirt it into the crack and then um, put the curing panels on the, across the crack and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Um, you gotta, it says to kind of just do your best to get it into the crack. So, because this is a double pane window, I can't push it from one side or the other. I have got to only push it from this side because it's only this front pane that is broken. And uh, so it's going to be a little bit more challenging. And I can feel a little bit of a lip here. The window has not only cracked, but kind of shifted out of like flushness. It's not flush anymore. So I don't know how that's going to affect it. But anyway, the idea is to hopefully make the crack much less noticeable. That's the only goal. So let me go ahead and get the camera set up and uh, show you applying this and everything. I've already cleaned the crack off with isopropyl alcohol on a wet wipe and let it dry. Alright, so it's been probably like 15 minutes. It's really cold in here and uh, there's not much sun to activate this stuff. So I let it sit, but I can tell you right now, it's not going to be perfect, as you can see. Probably going to have to spend $150 and buy a new window and then just replace the, just take the bottom panel out of this one and the bottom panel out of the other one and swap them. Alright guys, so it's the next day and I can tell you right now, it uh, worked about as well as I thought it would. Let me come over here so you can actually see from another angle. Yeah, you can still see the crack just fine. It, I've, I've got all of this. Uh, I took off about half of the um, curing strips yesterday. It kind of feels like a silicone. It's like a little bit rubbery. It's like hard, but just slightly rubbery. That's what this uh, material is. Here's the curing strips that I left on. I still feel a bit of a whip there. But anyway, I'd say this would work pretty well on a car windshield, but on this window, it's just not going to work. It's not going to decrease the, uh, the crack enough to be almost not noticeable, and it's also not going to secure it enough. I bet if I push on this, well, it's actually pushing as one pane right now. It's not separating. So the crack is kind of glued together. I haven't scraped off any of the uh, stuff because I know for sure that I'm, not, I'm going to replace this lower, this lower portion of the window here. It just comes right out. And I've already bought the other window to replace it. Just take the bottom one out of there and slap it in here, take one minute. But yeah, um, it did give it strength when I hit this. The whole pane moves, it doesn't separate at the crack line there. So I guess functionally it did repair it. Um, and that's better than I thought it would actually do, but you can still see it way too well for me to leave it like that. So um, I hope this helps. I guess you could say it repaired the window and it did, it repaired it structurally. Probably not as good as new, probably much less good than new. Um, but, uh, and it decreased the crack visibility 50%, I would say, but, um, it didn't make it disappear. So maybe that's all you need. Maybe you want it to completely disappear. Um, I want it to be gone and structurally sound. And so the house looks like a nice place. So I'm going to go with the new window. Hopefully that information helped you guys. 
Thanks for watching. All right, the new paint is in and it looks better than ever. $150 for the new window and you just swap the panes. There's the old one. I really wouldn't call it a pane, I'd call it maybe the entire bottom, I don't know, window. And there's the crack you can see. So yep, that's the right way to do it, I guess.